topic that comes up every now and then is the subject of uh, prayer in school. And there are certain people who seem to feel that there should be prayer in school, that it's a travesty, that there isn't, and that the youth in America are being led down some horrendous path towards an amoral society. Separation of church and state makes it very clear that there cannot be teacher or adult-led prayer in school. It doesn't, uh, there are no statutes or laws saying that students cannot pray in school. They absolutely can and must be allowed to pray in school, whether it is before a meal or the Muslim noontime prayer or before a test they haven't studied for, though I often recommend the paying attention in class, doing your homework and studying for the test approach, those prayers absolutely must be allowed. And there are, there is nothing saying that students can't engage in those types of prayers. Students can lead other students in voluntary prayer. What isn't allowed is for any adult associated with the school to lead students in prayer. And by adult associated with the school, that includes teachers, counselors, coaches, volunteers, anyone that is authorized to be on school grounds and is associated and seen as an authority figure at the school. Teachers especially are supposed to keep their personal opinions about things like religion and politics out of the classroom because they have undue influence over the students in their room. What they, the whole premise of education is that the, the teacher is an authority on what is true and what is not and what is, and, and when we say something to our class, it is supposed to be taken as education. And if we use the classroom as a platform for our political or religious beliefs, that could be seen as telling kids what to think politically and what to believe religiously. Also, having an adult associated with the school lead a prayer for students gives the impression that the authority of the school is behind it and that the prayer is then mandatory. So whenever someone starts talking about how we should have prayer in school, my usual response is, okay, to which God would you like me to have them pray? I can lead a very nice Wiccan ceremony, or we could pull out prayer mats and pray the three times during the school day that Islamic prayer happens. We could do that. And usually I get the response, oh, no, 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 that's not what I mean. It is just as unconstitutional and illegal, however, for a teacher or any adult associated with the school to tell kids not to pray. The people who supervise at lunch can't go around and tell kids to stop praying. If they see someone praying before they eat, they're not allowed to say anything about it. So the, the right to pray is protected in both directions. Students are allowed to pray pretty much any time they want, but they cannot be forced to pray against their will or to a deity that they don't believe in. And the idea that they should uh, pretend to go along with it is absolutely reprehensible. No one should have to pretend belief in anything. I firmly believe that as long as there are tests, there will be prayer in school. Again, I do recommend the pay attention, do homework, and study method rather than the prayer method. But if they want to count on talking to themselves to get them through the test, so be it. It's their right. Thanks for joining me for Sacrilegious Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow from Mom Monday. Bye.